Book of Enoch, chapters 37 and 38. The second vision which he saw, the vision of wisdom, which Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, and the son of Adam saw. And this is the beginning of the words of wisdom which I lifted up my voice to speak and say to those which dwell on earth. Hear ye, men of old time, and see ye that come after the words of the holy, one which I will speak before the Lord of spirits. It were better to declare them only to the men of old time, that even from those that come after we will not withheld the beginning of wisdom. Till the present day such wisdom has never been given by the Lord of spirits. As I have received according to my insight, according to the good pleasure of the Lord of spirits, by whom a lot of eternal life has been given to me. Now three parables were imparted to me. I lifted up my voice and recounted them to those that dwell on the earth. Chapter 38. The first parable. When the congregation of the righteous shall appear, and sinners shall be judged for their sins, and shall be driven from the face of the earth, and when the righteous one shall appear before the eyes of the righteous, whose elect works hang upon the righteous on the Lord of Spirits, light shall appear to the righteous and the elect who dwell on the earth, when then will be a dwelling of the sinners, and where the resting place of those who have denied the Lord of Spirits. It had been good for them if they had not been born. When the secrets of the righteous shall be revealed and the sinners judged, and the godless driven from the presence of the righteous and elect. From that time, those that possess the earth shall no longer be powerful and exalted, and they shall not be able to behold the face of the holy. For the Lord of spirits has caused his light to appear on the face of the holy, righteous, and elect. Then shall the kings and the mighty perish and be given into the hands of the righteous and holy. And thenceforth none shall seek for themselves mercy from the Lord of spirits, for their life is at an end.